September 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Ten weeks after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Executive Order 9066 was passed, which enabled the U.S. military to take in Japanese Americans and place them in internment camps all across the country. Although this event happened over 80 years ago, for one family, it still feels like just yesterday. Um, okay, so here, my grandfather was uh, Sam Masao Nishimura. When the war broke out, um, the FBI came to his house and questioned him, took him to Honolulu. Uli. To walk up, Honolulu Uli, uh, is an uh, internment camp. Um, it's the largest camp in, in the Hawaiian Islands and the longest used. And uh, it kind of is in the gulch. Coming into the camp. It held uh, uh, about 350 internees uh, during the war at any, any one time, but also several thousand POWs. It was a POW camp as well as an internee camp. When they were there and turned, they called it um, Hell's Gulch. So can you picture it? Yeah. But he used to make um, necklaces and shells that were decorated, rings out of toothbrush handles. He also wrote in his diary. My mom had given him a diary, so every day he wrote something. Him talking about his life and then his life in the internment camp. I, I was very sad and very angry. But you know, if you had met my grandfather, you would have never known that anything like that had happened to him. He was just a happy-go-lucky, really nice guy. This is going to happen. Oh, when we think about the inequalities um, and the in injustice, I get really angry. Although, there came news they thought would provide some calm. There was administration um, who issued out checks and letters of apology to um, all of the internees. My grandfather had passed away, so they said that he was not eligible for um, any reparations. So my mom had asked for at least a letter of apology, and they sent her two copies of the letter. Their family also found help preserving his legacy through the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii. We had all of this stuff in our homes. Um, we donated that to JCCH. Happy that it's there. Other people can see it, and it makes it re for real that he was there. But some good ideas have risen in the fight to keep the legacy of internees like Sam, who are interned at Honolulu Uli, alive. You know, I've been on the um, on different committees to talk about what are possibilities, um, and I think people have a lot of good ideas. And we're talking about, you know, we needed access from the highway. They were saying there was some place in there that if you stood on that platform and you can see Honolulu Uli, and if we can find that place, um, I think that would be a great place to, to start a tour. Um, and then other things, of course, will hopefully will come, like a, maybe a visitor center, and uh, it would be nice to have a monument. If we talk about it and we put it out to the public that um, people could see why this was not a good idea. This is Julia Forrest, Sea Rider News.